What a time to be alive. So Neil, what's going on? Someone just rang my doorbell back home in Toronto. In Toronto, Th that's the window into Canada right there. <laughs> Holy crap, how crazy is that? What a time to be alive. What a time to be alive. Good morning guys, today we are going to the Waitangi Treaty Grounds or in Maori it's Te Tiriti o Waitangi and these are the grounds where basically the founding documents uh, signed between the British Crown and the Maori Chiefs was signed and so there's a lot of history in this place. We're gonna check out the Treaty Grounds, there's gonna be an awesome show and it's gonna be a lot of fun, especially for Neil who's really into this, these cultural shows. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna have a good day today. Of a tight squeeze. Tight squeeze. <laughs> well, there's North American camp. Yeah. I lost weight since coming to New Zealand, but not that much weight. Uh, all right. We are here at the Waitangi Treaty Grounds, ready to learn a bit of history, learn about the Waitangi Treaty and all three of its articles. This is probably the world's shortest treaty that was ever signed, the founding document between the British Crown and the Maori chiefs of the northern North Island of New Zealand. So far this has been the biggest waka I've seen in New Zealand. It took three kauri trees to build and construct this waka and can seat 150 Maori warriors. That's crazy. That was good. That was it. That was good. <laughs> so a lot of history has happened here. Really interesting stuff. A lot of problems too as well with the signing of the treaty and the fact that they only had 12 hours to translate a basically lifetime binding document from English into Maori proved to be problematic. One of the main things was that there was um, certain words that don't exist. <clears throat> there are certain words in the English language that don't exist in Maori. After the signing of the treaty in the 1840s, in the second half of the 19th century was a lot of conflict. It led to the New Zealand Wars 
um, also known as the Maori Wars or the Land Wars. They basically lost control of their land, either through legitimate deals, really shady deals, or just outright confiscation of their land. So in the 1990s, the government began doing some investigations and looking to these claims. And since then, over a billion dollars worth of land settlement claims have been paid out to the Maori people. Now that that you know, historical segment is out of the way, we're gonna watch a performance right in front of that marae that we just checked out. That was fun guys, we got to hang out in the marae and then practice our pokana faces. And there's a really hot Maori guy with a leg tattoo. Yeah. There's Lin a really hot tattoo on a guy. That's why Ling got the panty liners, was for that purpose. <laughs> I need to go to and the she car. Jumped on. <laughs> she drifts <on. laughs> What? This is Link thinking, this is Link pretending she's in Star Wars. I'm strategizing. Yeah, you always see in these movies that these people are just pointing and doing random crap and you know they're just not really doing anything. And in real life, it's just this. Yeah. Oh look, Neil's doing some hacking. Oh, oh. He's gonna solve world peace. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Touch. Oh, I contributed. Photo. Oh, did I? We pulled up the same photo. <laughs> All right, so Ling and Neil just went into the New World to grab some food. So tomorrow's gonna be a really long day. We gotta pack up our tent at 6 a.m. I gotta go pick up Neil, who's gonna be staying with his friend in Paihia, and then we gotta drive an hour and a half north to the town of Kaitaia to hop on a bus, which is gonna take us all the way up to the northern tip of New Zealand. If you guys have been following the vlog, you saw my footage of Cape Ranga. We're going back to Cape Ranga to show Neil that, and it's gonna be a long day. I'm excited to see Cape Ringa again because we kind of had to rush through it the last time. This time I think our um, this uh, tour guide is going to give us a bit more time because we're not going to be driving from Paihia. Um, camping next to the waterfalls was great. It, I just couldn't sleep. I, I'm not used to sleeping in a tent anymore. So thanks for following us today on the Treaty of Waitangi. I hope today was as a knowledgeable experience for you as it was for me. But I'm signing off. Tomorrow's another day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.